last time we caught up with Arctic monkeys. Alex Turner had a beard and Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino was released. Both were largely unpopular, but fans shouldn't be too hopeful with the arrival of Arctic Monkeys' new album, The Car. I'm not going to suggest anything, but I do have the feeling that a lot of the songs that I've heard already aren't going to be like loud Arctic Monkeys 2006 jam. Because since the release of AM, Arctic Monkeys have fallen into an abyss where they cannot top AM. Like it's that album that fans of the band and regular people have associated Arctic Monkeys with AM. And most of those songs are hits on Spotify. So no matter what album Arctic Monkeys puts out next, I do feel like the popularity or just stops there and they won't really be able to make any more hit songs. So this leads me to my next point. Will this be Arctic Monkey's final album? Before you launch into a tirade about how disrespectful I am and how the album hasn't even come out yet, so why am I even bothering making false assumptions like this? Hear me out. Look, I try and stay away from the music as much as I can. But I couldn't help but dwell on this cryptic interview with Alex Turner. Towards the end of the interview with The Age, an Australian newspaper, Alex says, quote, I don't know why I was so naive, because nothing about any of this at any point in the last 20 years has given me a reason to believe that you can go backwards. Strange, right? But wait, there's more. The interviewer says, what he says might be a veiled clue about what lies ahead for him in relation to the band. He might outgrow and retire any moment now that maybe this latest leap forward comes with an invitation for his fans to simply take it or leave it. I don't care what Alex Turner says, I think this is a goddamn gorgeous, beautiful cover. As we all know, the music press are known to exaggerate things, but I can assure you that Australian music media aren't like the British press. The British music press are just on a whole other level. And I think Alex Turner was showing a bit of vulnerability in this interview than with his other interviews. Like, I think he trusts... Australian media to not go berserk over any little given hint that he makes. I think he was in like it's like a therapy session. He was very comfortable. Alex goes on to say something about that initial idea of this kind of show closer thing does feel like it has stuck around in the creation of this record. It's just like an inverted version of what that meant in my mind in 2019. There's something about that feeling that does exist. Come on, Alex, save those words of melancholy for your album, for your fans to figure out. But one can't help but wonder, with song titles like I Ain't Quite Where I Think I Am, is that a continuation of whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not, and... The last track on the album, Perfect Sense. Sometimes my I wrap my head around it all and it makes perfect sense. Keep reminding me that it ain't a race when my invisible streak turns into the final straight. If that's what it takes to say goodnight, then that's what it takes. For the first time, has Alex Turner really given us his car keys? 